Welcome to the second of three videos that discuss the speeds the pilots have to calculate for the takeoff run. These speeds are V1, V rotate, or VR for short, and V2. The intention is to keep the content as basic as possible. In this video, we will be discussing V rotate, or VR, for short. V rotate, or VR, is the speed at which the pilot starts to pull back on the control column. This raises the nose of the aircraft, which starts to generate lift from the wings, and which allows the aircraft to lift off from the runway. VR is a speed, and is presented on the airspeed indicator. When VR is reached, the monitoring pilot will call rotate, at which point the handling pilot will start to raise the nose. Similar to V1, VR depends on a number of factors. These factors are temperature, airfield height above sea level, and aircraft weight. VR has a relationship with various aspects of the takeoff run. However, in simple terms, VR is the point the aircraft can safely start the lift off. The first important point is VR can be equal to, or greater than V1, but it must not be, less than V1 at any point. VR can be increased to a maximum level which we call, VR max. Rotate speeds up to VR max might be calculated to take turbulence and wind shear into consideration. With turbulence and wind shear, airspeed can fluctuate, so VR can be increased up to VR max, to ensure a safe rotate speed. VR max should not be greater than V2. We will discuss V2 in the next video. So we have V1, discussed in the first video, and now we have V rotate, or VR for short. We now know when we can safely stop the aircraft, and we now know when it is safe to pull back on the control column and raise the nose, ready for liftoff. In this video, we have attempted to describe what VR is, what the limits are, and how we can vary VR, depending on turbulence conditions. We hope you enjoyed the video, and please do watch the next in the series.